All right, aviators, hello, sky gazers, and welcome to Up and Away Relaunched, brought to you by Project Aviate. I'm Nick Hill here, president at Project Aviate, and I'm so excited that we're we're coming back, baby, in 2021 with yet another series of lessons. And um, as you know, our program is called Up and Away, and that's what we're going to be spending the next 15 weeks doing together. And I'm so excited to talk to you guys about it. Um, but before we get into about the program itself, I want to talk a little bit about Project Aviate. So Project Aviate, Aviate stands for Aviation via Immersion and Aerospace Through Exploration. And uh, this encap encapsulates sort of what we do here. Aviation via Immersion in this case is we like to teach aviation through flight simulation. That's what this whole program is going to be about for us. And we hope that that makes it as immersive as it can possibly be. And aerospace through exploration is our other side of the story here at Project AVA. We like to talk about all the opportunities there are in the aviation and aerospace industry. And so, <clears throat> That will also that we will also be covering that today, as well as what we'll be accomplishing in Up and Away. And before we go any further, now uh, I'd like to we'd like to talk a little bit about you know what is aviation, what's aerospace. It's not just it's not just planes in the sky. You know, like there's so much more to it. And I'd like I'd like my officer here, Stephen, to go on and explain it. And my officers will introduce themselves as they present. All right, Stephen, you're up. Hello there. My name is Steven, and I am the Secretary Officer of Project Aviate. And uh, I currently do hold a uh, pilot license, and I am a pilot myself, along with Henry, who will uh, introduce himself at a future time during today's uh, video. So to get started, what's aviation? So a lot, of, a lot of us know that aviation is commercial aviation, like airlines, where you um, take a flight to your destination where you're going for a vacation. But general, there's also general aviation and other uh, positions within aviation that makes us like make aviation an entire family. So the first bullet point says general aviation, which is hobby, uh, private pilot. So if you see in the middle picture, that is me next to a Cessna aircraft. You have you probably have seen these aircrafts flying around smaller airports. Um, this is general aviation. So these pilots are either learning or training to get another license or they're learning how to fly in general. So that's why it's called general aviation. It's basically everybody that's learning how to fly or they're just flying for fun. And then you have professional airline pilots, commercial, and then ATP stands for airline transport pilots. These are the pilots who fly you around to your destinations at bigger airports. If, see, if you see in the left picture, that's actually me and Henry um, sitting in an actual airline cockpit. Um, we somehow got into the same flight and we were flying home together. So uh, we are not airline pilots, but we just visited the cockpit and we took a picture together. So that's what an airline looks like from the cockpit. And then there's air traffic control all the way on the right side picture. That is air traffic control. And they basically sit inside a tower or a room and they look at us through radars and they communicate with pilots through the radio. And they basically make sure that all the pilots follow the same rules and everyone's staying safe. Um, they basically just control everyone. And then there are others who work in the aviation uh, who basically keep planes healthy and working. So those are maintenance personnel. Um, without maintenance people, planes wouldn't be um, flying basically because they keep planes working. And if there's something wrong with the plane, they basically fix it for us. So without ma maintenance personnel, we can't fly. Um, so these four groups are the main groups that keep um, aviation together. Uh, Henry will, in the, on the next slides, he will be talking about um, more people or more groups in aviation that make it all happen. Take it away, Henry. Thanks, Stephen, for the introduction. Um, hello to all of you watching. My name is Henry Jessel. Um, I am uh, Part of I'm one of the auxiliary officers for Project Aviate. Uh, I am an alumni of Evergreen Valley High School in the Bay Area, uh, San Jose native. 
Um, right now, I'm attending Purdue University as a professional flight technologies major. It's my uh, fourth semester here. I currently hold a commercial pilot certificate with instrument ratings. Uh, that basically just means I can fly through clouds. We'll uh, delve into that later. Um, I've flown uh, the Piper Arrow Archer, uh, the Cirrus SR-20, and the Cessna 172. Um, I also flew a lot out of the uh, Reed Hill U Airport. Um, that's pretty close to uh, in that kind of area down in the southeastern San Jose. I'm uh, very excited to be here, and uh, yeah, I guess I'll just go ahead and dive right into um, the uh, aviation industry. So on this slide, you can just see some of the many employers that are connected to aviation. Uh, like Stephen mentioned, a, uh, a lot of people tend to just think about airlines when you think about aviation. So at the bottom, of course, you have Delta and United, but uh, the, a lot of the times there's a lot of things that are tied into, you know, it's a lot like a spider web with a lot of things branching out and interconnected. So like, for example, United Airlines is connected to Boeing because Boeing is a manufacturer of the aircraft that United uses. And at the same time, United has to work with the FAA to make sure that they're following regulations, they're regulated and monitored. Um, you have the NTSB to make sure they can investigate any incidents that occur with the airlines. And we have Embry-Riddle over here. That's a prestigious aviation school and uh, hopefully my soon-to-be alma mater at Purdue University over here, they both have uh, professional flight technologies degrees, the degrees you want to use to become a, a commercial pilot. They have those degrees, they provide them, and they also provide degrees in aeronautical engineering to like design airplanes. Um, they have a lot of unmanned aerial systems opportunities too for uh, drone technologies that are coming out. So, and they also provide flight, they provide the flight instruction we need to become the excuse me, they provide the flight instruction the, uh, that pilots need in order to become pilots. So, and then even inside of them, you know, you don't even necessarily have to become a pilot or a manufacturer. Uh, United Airlines, they need business, um, uh, business experts, you know, people who are able to determine pricing for tickets, um, different markets that should be exploited or are under exploited right now to see which routes need to be, are viable or need to be removed from lack of use. So, there's a lot of different things that can happen in aviation that the public uh, sometimes tends to not think about, um, you know, and you don't even necessarily have to just be a commercial pilot. If you don't want to fly people around, you can fly cargo around. Um, if you don't want to take big, long international trips, you can still fly domestically in the country. You can uh, fly around airplanes just to people who recently purchased them. Those are called ferry pilots. You can do pipeline patrol and inspect miles and miles of pipeline to make sure it isn't leaking aerial surveying. There's just a really big amount of opportunities in this field, and it's only going to keep growing. Um, I know, unfortunately, the pandemic has kind of thrown a wrench in that, but, you know, the uh, the field will continue to grow, and it's a very exciting time to get into it, and uh, it's uh, we're really excited to be able to explain this to you. So uh, other than that, I guess we can go ahead and move on into uh, the mission for Project ABA, if you all want to go ahead and take that away. Uh, hey, everyone. Uh, I'm Yuvraj Jadav, the Vice President of Project Aviate. I've been in aviation ever since I was a little kid. I've been to ground school at Reed Hillview Airport, and I have a significant amount of experience in flight simulators as well. So our mission at Project Aviate goes al along the lines of uh, what our own experience. So we can all remember certain memories or, uh, or several memories for, uh, at a very young age, which inspired us to get into aviation and do more research and follow through with it. So we all agree that uh, aviation is a beautiful subject. Um, there's a lot to explore and a lot to look at. So we wanted to kind of help out and provide exposure to people uh, about aviation. So people can look at our program learn about aviation, uh, and hopefully get into it. But yeah, as a career, as a hobby, however you want, um, we're just here to provide some exposure to aviation, and hopefully you'll end up loving it just as much as we do. Thank you. Thank you so much, Yvraj. Um, and thank you, Henry and Steven, as well, for talking about aviation and aerospace, as well as what we like to do at Project Aviate. And so now, without further ado, uh, sorry about my camera at the moment. Um, I will be a little bit off camera temporarily. But uh, 
And now let's go ahead and talk about what we want to do here at Up and Away. Now, now that you're all here, this is what you came for. Um, so this is a virtual aviation education program. So normally we'd love to do this at school, but uh, instead, now we have a chance to take it to larger communities like you guys. And so what we're going to be talking about are uh, the basics of flight, as well as the various hobbies and careers, as uh, Stephen and Henry briefly mentioned. And by the end of it, get into you know what's going on in aviation, what's going on in aerospace, and all the exciting developments in the field. But in particular, this series is focused on flight training. And as a result, that's what we'll be focusing this series mostly on. In fact, we are going to be having two kinds of live streams. One is the kind that you are seeing right now. This is what we will be calling our lesson streams because we will be actually teaching content, teaching flying in these streams that you guys can follow along with on your own devices, which I will explain in just a moment. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So in our live streams, we're going to be guiding you in from a flight simulator through everything that's going on inside an airplane, but we're not going to do it the way flight schools do it. Uh, something I'd like to mention right away is that though we're not, we are a club, but we're not a like accredited fr uh, flight school. But this means we have the freedom to take a whole different kind of learning approach into, you know, how, how does flying all work? And we like to call it building from basics. And by this, we mean we want to teach you from the perspective of someone who wants to create the airplane they're about to fly and then what they will need in order to fly that plane and in taking this learning approach we believe this is how you will better understand why all the instruments are the way they are all the flight controls are the way they are and also the physics behind everything that goes on here and this is what's really stem based about our approach to teaching flight even though aviation in itself is not something you consider to be STEM in a way. But that's what we really like to do here, and we're so excited to bring this to you. Um, oh, I'm sorry, give me one moment. Um, so our two kinds of streams are going to be the lesson streams like this, and then we're also going to have the chill streams. Chill streams are going to be uh, more relaxed, more laid back, uh, we won't be actually teaching content in these, but rather they will be discussions based on things that are happening in the world of aviation or what's new in aviation and aerospace. And we'll be flying, we'll be flying in the simulator around to basically wherever, just for fun, and showing you what what it's like to be a flight simmer once you have a lot of experience with it. It's pretty, it's pretty fun. Uh, we have several examples of these on our channels. We've had, I want to say, around six chill streams by now on top of our normal Up and Away lesson series, which uh, we completed for the first time last year, end of last year. And and I'd like to clarify when I said you guys will be able to follow along. Um, you will be able to follow along in the X-Plane mobile flight simulator, which is a free app on the App Store and Android Store. And it has all the same features as um, as as uh, X plane, which I'm going to actually show you right now. If I can pull it up, uh, let me take a look here. Let me reduce the volume a little bit. Okay, and all right. So what you're looking at right now is the cockpit of a Cessna 172, and this is basically what you guys will get to see on on the streams. And we will be going over, you know, all these instruments that you see, all the, you know, all the physics that's going on out here outside the plane as and why all these things happen. And you will get to follow along in X-Plane Mobile, which is a free app, and it'll show you much of the same things. In fact, it'll look exactly like this, which is why we chose X-Plane for you guys to follow along in. So uh, we hope that <laughs> we hope that makes this learning experience a lot more immersive. And that's our goal here. So with that said, because we're doing a lot of this live streaming, we obviously have some rules in place as we are coming from an educational institution. And I'll have my officer Calvin here. Go ahead and talk about those for me. 
Hi, so as this is, oh, uh, I'll introduce myself first. So I'm Calvin. Uh, I am the treasurer of Project AG8. Uh, I have a little bit of experience with <clears throat> flight sims, and I serve as an example to say uh, to show that anybody can get into the world of aviation. Uh, you don't need to be uh, experienced in any way. There's no gatekeeping here, and we're a very open community. Uh, and uh, as this is an educational program, we do expect you to be uh, have good behavior. So obviously, school appropriate language only. Uh, and we do not allow certain swear words. One of the ones is called tarmac. We do not want you to use this word ever. Uh, obviously, this is a joke. But uh, generally, the uh, we'll, we'll skip this for now. We might cover it in the very end if you guys want to ask. And then uh, so the live chat will be moderated. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Right, there are no bad questions. Even if you think a question is stupid, they are not. And you should ask them, and we will answer them. All right. And then the same rules apply to the lesson streams and the chill streams. Obviously, chill streams will be more relaxed, but still follow the school appropriate language as we are an educational program. And so this, this is just a brief uh, lesson schedule overview. This is just the first six lessons that we have. Uh, but there are more in uh, the uh, there's a Google Sheets um, that we'll share with you. So basically, uh, what we're gonna do here. So lesson one, obviously, is what we're doing right now: meet and greet. So it's just an introduction and overview of what our program is, up and away 2.0. And the next lesson, we're going to go over just like how a plane works, the simple physics of it, and like the flight controls of how, like basically, how to control the, the plane. <clears throat> and then the next lesson, we'll do reading aircraft instruments, so like what you see on the car and stuff like that. And then we'll learn how to take off, and then we learn how to land. And then we also learn to finish up all the aircraft instruments and stuff like that. And then we'll obviously have more stuff planned after that. But this is just what you can expect from the next few weeks. Yeah, and something I'd like to add is uh, the schedule that you see. Uh, can you guys send the link to the master spreadsheet? So you guys would have gotten this in your emails after you signed up. Uh, this master spreadsheet uh, is the hub for all the links you will need. Um, It'll have all the links to our YouTube live streams, as well as the slides we're using. So you'll get to see these slides that we're presenting right now, as well as all the relevant links like our website and uh, the links to download X-Plane Mobile and a minute by minute of how our streams will go. So you notice that uh, today we're not necessarily uh, adhering to that minute by minute because this isn't a full on lesson. This is just an introduction, but basically that's how our lessons are gonna go. And I will go ahead and share, uh, let me see if I can share that on here. Give me one moment. Uh, browser. There we go. So as you can see, this is probably the spreadsheet you're looking at. And uh, so if we're looking here at the minute by minute, I wonder if there's a way I can quickly zoom in. Uh, you can probably just control plus zoom in and just. Control. I'm worried that'll do something else, but. I don't know. Okay. Okay, there we go. So here's a minute by minute for each live stream. At 4.20 p.m., our countdown begins, as you probably saw in the beginning, it'll be the same kind of countdown. And uh, every lesson will open with a guiding question. And those guiding questions you can actually see uh, in the notes of our spreadsheet, the notes that basically talk about uh, what will be going over in that stream. And we say guiding question because that follows from our building from basics approach. We don't want to start any lesson by telling you the things you should know. In fact, we don't want to go to any lesson just telling you the things you need to know. Instead, we're going to start with a question. Make you curious, make you wonder about how you think we have to get there. Take, make it more like a problem solving approach. And that's what we we'll spend the first five minutes covering. Then the next half hour or so will be the actual lesson content. We'll be starting from that guiding question and building up to sort of what the big thing is. And in our next lesson, or which is our first actual lesson next week, it'll be about all physics, which I know might be intimidating at first, but don't worry, we'll, simp we'll make it as easy as possible. And we're gonna start from literally just, there's birds in the sky and we're inspired by that. Now we want to make an airplane of our own. And then by the end of the stream, we would have virtually built our own airplane if so to speak. And it'll be like that for literally all the lessons, except it'll be more like, you know, what kind of instruments would we need to stay safe in the air? All What kind of buttons and switches and stuff like that? And then finally, before we close out our streams, which will happen around 
5 p.m. we'll have a Q&A, as you can see. This is your chance to ask any questions that were missed during the stream, but keep in mind, you can also ask questions while we're covering the lesson content itself. And I have, we have all our officers here watching the YouTube live chat, and you're able to ask questions. And then finally, we'll conclude in the last five minutes or so with everything we covered, as well as a brief intro of what we're going to do in the next week. And as you see right below the minute by minute, we have our resources with all the links. Uh, this is uh, the second link down there is the playlist for all our up and away aviation and flight lesson streams and our presentation slides, which we will update this link shortly uh, for the new link uh, for the new slides and our YouTube channel, which you're kind of already on right now just by watching this stream. And I'll, of course, our website and x -Plane Mobile. So that's that's basically this is your master spreadsheet. This is where you want to be looking if you've got if you're wondering anything at all. And of course, if you have questions about any of this or anything that we'll be covering in Up and Away, um, please feel free to email us at flyprojectaviate at gmail.com. I'll have one of my officers go ahead and drop that in the chat. And please keep in mind that this schedule is going to be tentative, so these dates might change. I know some of us here are high schoolers, and college board exists, as a result AP exams exist. So we will, if and if it's stuff like that, or if it's anything that you know we just need to work around, we will of course ask you guys first. And um, and if you happen to miss a lesson stream, don't worry. All these are recorded on our YouTube channel, and they're in the playlist, which you can access in the second link in the resources box. So I hope that I hope that makes it helpful for everyone. Let's see if I can pull back the slides. There we go. And with that. That should conclude today's presentation. Uh, something I'd like to add actually is we don't like slides. We hate slides. We hate lectures. That's why we like to keep the immersion as high as possible. We like to show much more of the simulator. We like to demonstrate everything in the simulator as much as possible. And <clears throat> we will try to keep these slides to a minimum. So you're going to be seeing a lot more of this and not a whole lot of this. It'll be like minimized in a corner just for your reference because we'll often have bullet points just so you can reference you know what you need to know while we're flying around and learning about all these things and so yeah that concludes our presentation i hope you guys enjoyed this if you guys have any questions you can go ahead and drop it in the chat as well as send us an email at flyprojectaviate at gmail.com oh wrong thing right i minimized the slides i should make them bigger now so if you have any questions go ahead and if there's any questions you'd like, you'd like us to address on stream, this is also the chance. Do they have any questions they'd like addressed on stream? Uh, no, the chat looks. Uh, there's no questions right now. I was just gonna suggest to everyone watching. Um, you can feel free to also ask us about like. Um, uh, our own backgrounds. If you want to ask us, like, what our favorite airplanes are, or what a, what a got us into aviation, um, you can like feel free to ask us. And actually, it looks like we got a few questions already in the chat. Oh, if you all want to so take that, but yeah. Someone's asking, how many credits is this class? <laughs> um, so this is not a college class per se. This is more like a camp. This is an after-school program. Um, we would actually, though, no. Let let, let us talk about this. Our goal is one day to make this accessible to all schools across the country and hopefully implement our methods here of flight training into standard FAA ground school curriculum. So maybe one day you can see this as a college class. That is actually one of our goals. Definitely a long-term one, but we're, we're slowly getting up there. And uh, I, I also just wanted to add it onto that. Um, a lot of people, right, uh, who want to get into aviation, it's really good for them to get exposed to programs like this. Um, maybe just because it's kind of an introductory, it's kind of a taste of certain things that you want to know and, and get access to like all these cool flight simulators and general information like that. Like um, I, uh, my background, I started when I was in the third grade with flight simulators. So, and just kind of built my way up to there. And I, I like to think that it actually helped me a lot once I had to get into flight training. So definitely this would be a great program to take advantage of. Thank you, Henry. Um, is there anything else I wanted to say? I could have sworn there was something else that I wanted to say. Uh, nothing else I could think of. Is there any other questions that we should probably address? 
Uh, no, not really, but I just want to point out that uh, today was a little bit slide heavy, uh, and it's usually not that slide heavy. Just going to point course. that out again. Yep. Uh, we definitely have a lot more uh, simulator time uh, on our usual streams, and we do use slides, but they're very quick glances at the slides, and then we quickly you take the uh, the concepts from the slides and immediately demonstrate them on the flight simulator. How do you get into the aviation major? Ooh, Henry or Steven? Uh, you want me to cover this one, Steve? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Okay. Um, so, uh, there's a lot of different universities that um, offer this program. Um, so, uh, Purdue's one of them. Um, we uh, are, uh, I should do some advertising right now. Um, Purdue is uh, ranked number one for the aviation <laughs> school in the country. I got to just uh, put that out there. Um, but there's a lot of accredited institutions out there that um, offer this program. Uh, Embry Riddles, one of the more famous ones, um, located in uh, Prescott, Arizona, and Daytona Beach, Florida. Purdue's in West Lafayette, Indiana. Um, there's a lot of schools out here in the Midwest. Um, there's actually one in your guys' backyard, uh, San Jose State. They offer an aviation program. I believe it's offered out of the Reed Hillview Airport, but like you'd still be a student on campus. Um, so there's always that. Uh, basically, it's just like applying for any other major. You uh, submit the application for college. They'll accept you into the major. Um, the only other thing really that you might want to uh, take note of is just the fact that aviation of course has a uh, medical requirements so of course it might be good just to get yourself checked out medically before you go to school but other than that you basically can go straight in with just a love of airplanes and uh, they'll be sure to get you the training that you need um, if you have any more like questions on going into it with prior flight experience i can also feel free to field those because um, i went in with my private pilot certificate but then again you can like I said, you can go in completely cold with zero aviation knowledge whatsoever. I know a couple of friends who are that way with zero flight hours, and uh, now they're on their way to getting their instrument certificate this semester. Big step up. So, yeah, it's basically, just to sum it up, basically like any other college, you want to make sure you kind of apply to a few of them just in case you're not able to get in. I, uh, I saw your next question, Liz. Um, it is, it is, uh, unfortunately, it is, uh, Purdue's program is a bit small. We don't, uh, we don't have a really high number of students. Um, but, you know, it's like any other college. You kind of just want to apply to as many as you can and um, see which ones you get in. And if you get in, that's great. Um, but, yeah, basically just apply as if you were any other college student. And there's really no separate process or requirements from that. Yeah, and something I'd like to add is, now that you're in this, you're already getting a head start. So there is no way you will have zero knowledge after spending the next 15 weeks with us. And also, you don't have to pursue aviation as a major. You can also get um, you can also get your own license if you'd like. It's also really useful for tangential careers in aerospace, especially with unmanned aerial, aerial systems like, you know, flying cars and automatic uh, drone delivery of Amazon packages. This was not sponsored by Amazon, by the way. Um, you know, it's aerospace is a very huge, huge field that is hardly limited to just airplanes. You know, it's managing them and even automation. Like there's so much you could benefit from having this aviation knowledge, knowledge of airspaces and knowledge of how the industry works. And that's what we hope to bring to you. All right, is there any other questions? Is there, are there? Any other questions we can I answer? I have another question concern about not being able to finish a, a, is it a private, private pilot license before applying to college. Oh, yeah, I was I was gonna I was uh, I was gonna respond to that in the chat, but I can I can just kind of verbally say it. It's probably a bit yeah, faster. Quickly, quickly um, go over it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so at Purdue, um, the way it kind of works is if you want to come in with your private, basically you can get your private up until like the very day that class starts, and um, even then, you can still get your pilot or private pilot certificate during the semester. Uh, the way it kind of works is um, if you have backgrounds in aviation, what you can do is you can just email the counselor or whoever you uh, 
or you can email the school and just say, hey, I have a private, or I'm on my way to getting my private pilot certificate, I'm almost there. And um, they'll let you try and take this uh, ground test, this ground knowledge test, um, that just kind of goes in depth a lot on aviation topics, a lot that'll come up in this uh, uh, program. And uh, all you really have to do is uh, just pass that with an 80% or higher. And then you test out a private pilot ground school. And then that's step one. But let, let's say you haven't done your check ride yet. If that's the case, um, then you would just keep trying to get your private pilot certificate at a, a flight-based operator on the airport called Purdue Aviation. It's not affiliated with the university. But like for the first, if you want, you can try and get your private pilot in about a month or two within the start of the school year and you can still get put into the course that comes right after private pilot it's called 243 so yeah if you have uh yeah looking at that right now um yeah it, it kind of depends um the best way to kind of do it is if you take the faa actual faa private pilot written which we'll probably delve into later in the course or if you want to just kind of research that on your own after this but if you take the private pilot written and you pass that i'd say you have a pretty good chance of uh at least having a good chunk of the knowledge you'd need for passing that exam but yeah if you don't get your if you have a plenty of flight hours we're not going to put you cold turkey right back into the start of 145 which is a private pilot course we'll let you get the private pilot certificate through um the outside source you don't have to get it through the university yeah and if that makes sense I know that was a bit probably a bit confusing because it, it, it's, it's a long process to explain but yeah thank you so much Henry if there's if you're if you if the rest of you guys are a little bit confused as to um, you know college aviation majors I would say don't worry about it right now we will also be going over these towards the end of our series but Henry thank you so much for diving deep into it especially for those who have questions about aviation majors specifically um, something I was going to add was that I forgot. <laughs> um, uh, if if there's no other questions, uh, if you've made it till here, I just we just kindly ask that you go ahead and touch down on those like and subscribe buttons, support our channel, and oh, I remember what I was gonna say now. Um, close the thing. If you're wondering what our lesson streams are gonna normally look like, if you're worried about what is this whole immersion thing he's talking about, what is this whole chill stream he's talking about, I don't know what he's talking about. You can go ahead and check our YouTube channel. We've got playlists for our previous Up and Away version, as well as our chill streams, which tend to go pretty crazy, such as, you know, accidentally breaking our airplanes. But, you know, that's that's the fun of it all. That's that's the fun of Flight Sim. And, yeah. yeah we can we can, we can oh. go into something Nikhil did uh, that we like to give no, him No, we will not. Money. We will not yes. do that right <laughs> now. <laughs> I just wanted to quickly add, uh, Nikhil's been mentioning a 15, 16 week week program and i know it sounds oh that's a long time it, it probably gives off kind of a heavy uh vibe where you, <laughs> you're spending a lot of time every week uh w watching a youtube live stream but we i just wanted to clarify that it is over a long period of time but it's really not that intense it's about 45 minutes to an hour every week uh, once a week it's not that much uh it's just spread out over a long time uh, because we wanted to make it available in a manner which was e easy to digest and not completely overwhelming altogether. And our lesson content itself is actually a only around 35 minutes or so. We spend the first five minutes on the guiding question and the last 15 minutes or so answering questions and wrapping up our stream. So we like we try to make it as light as we can. And um... For our chill streams, the chill streams are not, uh, you might notice they're not in our spreadsheet. Those will be sort of scheduled at will, I guess, when we've got our, when we've got free time or when there's anything interesting happening in aviation news, aerospace news. That's when we'll do our chill streams usually. And we will let you guys all know. Chill streams are definitely, just going to put this in real quick. Uh, chill streams are definitely more entertainment than education which is why we don't openly advertise them in our schedule because we are definitely an educational program. But yeah, sometimes we have time and we want to hang out and have a fun. So uh, we have chill streams and definitely feel free to join us and hang out with us during those. We have quite a bit of fun. Yeah. Hey, and, Henry. Yeah. 
Liz went is going to aerodynamic aviation where you went to. Yeah, I saw that. That's awesome. I um <laughs> I used to actually be the <laughs> I used to be the office secretary for aerodynamic before I left for college. Um, uh, if you don't mind me asking, I'd love to know who your uh, instructor is if you have them. Uh, my private instructor was a uh, Cheryl Mitris. I believe she's still there. Um, but I also worked a lot with uh, the assistant chief Jason and um, the uh, the chief instructor Jen Watson. So, yeah, if you're doing their ground course, that's that's a good that's a good way to start prepping for like that test. Um, the test. I'm actually not 100% sure if you if the private pilot certificate is actually. Oh, Daniel. Okay. Yeah, I'm afraid I don't. Yeah. They recently admitted a. Uh, they recently admitted a lot of new instructors. There's actually, if you're interested, there is an instructor there who went to Purdue. I forget his name, but he did used to actually. He was a Purdue grad, and he's there now working up to get his uh, his hours. I can see if I can find his name. But yeah, that's a good way to get. Uh, that's a good way to get prepped, indeed. Uh, let me see here. Oh yeah, his name is Josh Larson. It looks like. Josh Larson, yeah, he used to be a he used to be a Purdue grad. So if you want to talk, he's probably also a really cool guy to talk to. I haven't met him personally, but he uh, he can probably tell you a lot about the program. And uh, yeah, but yeah, no. Um, if you have actually, if you have actual flight hours, uh, there's still a lot of time. I'm not sure if like you're a senior in high school. It sounds like you are if you're applying for a college right now, but. Um, yeah, you still got plenty of time up until probably the first or second week of August, I'd say right now. So you still got plenty of time to work on it if need be. And um, if you have any other questions, feel free. Please feel free to ask me. Oh yeah, and just before you can we... also ask yeah. us mm -hmm. on. So you can so to contact us, you can email us or you can follow us on social media like Instagram. Um, our Instagram is on the bottom of. Our description so you can dm us or if you want to dm one of the officers you can click on our aviate instagram and then go into the followings um our project aviate instagram instagram account follows our officers so if you want to dm them um personally then you can do that too and just to show you guys hold on let me go to the slides yes all these instruments and stuff move and you're going to get to see that and we're going to go over all of these it's going to be very exciting okay that's all i had to say if there are, if there are no more questions now it's been so wonderful having uh, all of you guys on our introduction stream today we're so excited to see you guys next week and for our remainder of the up and away lesson streams as well as the chill streams hopefully and we hope this brings your fridays you know on a good note because it is friday and we like fridays and hope to make it as fun as possible as well as educational as possible so thank you once again there's an airbus beluga for you it's literally that is a that is a whale or dolphin i already forgot it's one of those oh no you've rod you can't be heard it's a sturgeon it's a what it's a sturgeon Wait, okay no, well whatever he said but anyway yes we've got cool airplane paints like this and anyway take care have a great weekend you guys and we will see you next week bye everyone correction it's a whale yes it is a whale okay <laughs>